Doggles Man here. Uh, I'm gonna head on over to Fountain Valley real quick. The Fountain Valley location is also open for takeout, as well as the Stanton location. So I wanna make sure that everybody keeps that in mind when they're going to get their Noggles food. Um, gonna head on over there and uh, feature a couple new items tonight that I haven't even tried myself. So I hear uh, uh, Christian is right down the way and uh, he might be there helping out the restaurant. So hopefully we'll catch him. Today we're at the Fountain Valley location. As you can see, they're open for takeout. So I urge all healthy individuals to come on down, get their Noggles food to go, and then take it home safely to their loved ones. Now today I'm gonna to feature two items on the show. We're gonna do the bun taco, and then we're also gonna do the uh, club burrito. And I have yet to decide what kind of meat I'm gonna do in the club burrito, but we'll take a look. There's chicken or steak. I believe steak's an additional but it's worth it. I've had the steak here, it's fantastic. Look at this fine individual that just showed up. Over here's my buddy Christian. Hi everyone. And Christian just told me the significance of this sign. So uh, the reason we have this temporarily, it's not gonna be up all the time, is because um, we've had people that would come and they would drive right up to here and they go, oh, the place is closed and leave. Oh no. Even though it was, you know, very much 100% open for business and the open sign was flashing and everything, they just presumed we were closed. So I got this thing saying, I assure you we're open. It's kind of a tongue in cheek to the movie Clerks. It is a closed set, no eating inside, so it's just me. Christian's got the mask, he's very safe, plain and safe. Bun taco. Bun taco, please. Club um, burrito with chicken or steak? Club burrito with chicken. Sorry, my mind went blank. A nice customer here coming on in, and Noggles Man, just random feature. I'm going to pay it forward and buy his meal. What would you order today? Uh, beef tostada and a bean and cheese burrito. Beef tostada, bean and cheese burrito. Sounds good. This man here, and I'm sitting with Christian, the owner of Noggles. And today we're going to talk about the bun taco. So I'm going to hand it on over to the maestro here, and he's going to give you a little information about one of their most popular items. Okay, we have a Noggles bun taco here. Got my gloved hand. I'm opening this up with Ken's permission. Absolutely. And we got the bun, the beef, the lettuce, the cheese, the tomato, the white sauce. I like putting Noggles original taco sauce on it myself. Now let me give you a little bit of history. When Noggles first started in the end of 1970, this was on the menu as a, an original item uh, at the very first. It was known then as the taco burger. Now I've heard recently, a couple years later, that there was some law that said that you can't call this a burger anymore because it doesn't have a beef patty or something. So they had to change the name. They started calling it bun taco. Sometimes they called it taco sandwich, sometimes they call it taco meat sandwich, but most people remember the term bun taco. That's what we say, but we know sometimes people ask for it by one of the other names. Uh, there were different ways that they made it in the past, and some people remember there being red sauce on it. Not everybody, but a few. If you want it that way, you can say no white sauce, add red sauce, and we can do it that way. Um, this is a Noggles original retro classic, beloved by thousands of people now in 2020. Try some with some with original taco sauce. If you haven't tried the bun taco, definitely put that on your next order. Give it a try. Now Christian, what do we have here? Well, we have a club burrito with chicken in it. We first introduced this only with chicken. Later on we made it so you can get it with steak as well. You want me to unwrap it and talk about it? Sure, or cut it, unwrap it. Unwrap it and Whatever you'd like it. to do, sir. Boom. This is Ken's burrito that you bought. Oh yeah. He's letting me kind of showcase it here. Yeah. I this is the probably the heftiest burrito we have. Um, there's Look at the lettuce. Look that. And there's just, I mean, that's a, that's bacon, a chef knife. White, lettuce, bacon, white sauce, tomato, cheese, and chicken or steak. In this case, it's a chicken one. 
Well, we're getting it here. Well, look how big these burritos are, folks. You see the cross section of this. Turn it and you can already here. see the bacon. Look at the bacon just falling out of that. I mean, that is amazing. Look at that. Chunks of bacon. Look at that. You got the still right here. The, the fresh cut tomato, fresh grated cheese. Now, this item was suggested to us by our um, store manager, Jose, who used to work at Noggles in the 80s and 90s. Uh, he had me try it one time without telling me what it was, and I really liked it. And he said he remembered making it when he worked at Noggles. It's not an item I particularly remember, but it's been a big hit. Now, a lot of times people want something uh, light, more on the vegetable side, fresh, um, and everything. This really hits the spot for that. And it's been a big hit. And people actually also really like the steak version. And with just like with any of our items, you can customize it any way you want, but it comes with chicken, bacon, lettuce, cheese, tomatoes, white sauce. Fantastic. And I gotta tell you, I've had this before, and it is delicious. You can also get it in salad form, which you've done before. That's right, you suggested the salad form. That's the thing is, if you see uh, a Noggles crew, you know, behind the register, ask them about certain tricks. You know, they, they know all these secret little tricks on preparing these items, and each one is fantastic. Well, there's almost an infinite number of tricks and customizations and off-menu things we can do, but we, we can't flood the menu that you see with every single possible yeah, absolutely. Uh, option, but if you think of something and we can do it, there's a very good likelihood we're going to be able to do it for you. That's what we do at Noggles. So I'd like to thank Noggles, Christian, and the team for today's episode of Noggles Man and a look at the bun taco and that beautiful burrito. Order the Cobb burrito. It's gorgeous, as you see. And Christian, it's my understanding that the uh, Noggles is going to have their 50th anniversary this year. Uh, yes, that's correct. They opened in 1970, and I spoke to a gentleman who was there as a 14-year-old as it opened. He said it was either the day a uh, after Christmas or one day after that. So December 26th or 27th, 1970, Noggles opened in Riverside at 14th and Brockton, and it's been popular ever since, and we're just trying to keep that going and get people the food. Excellent. We're going to have to do something special towards the end of the year. Yep. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everyone. And then, so I just wanted to point out that Ken is just an avid fan that likes making these Noggles Man videos. He's done it here. He's done it at our Stanton store. I happened to be able to stop by to help him with the filming today. He bought his own food, and then Always. somebody else came in and ordered food, and Ken offered to do a pay forward thing. He bought the other customer's food. That guy was very appreciative. We just said, you just do something kind for somebody else. Yep. Uh, we do want to let people know, Noggles is open. It's open in Fountain Valley and Stanton. It's just not open for dining in at the moment, and that could change soon. It might be that it's uh, dining in is a lot as long as people are a certain distance apart. Mm -hmm. We're trying to keep up on every rule that's like that. And um, we're, Stanton has the drive through We do have our location at the beach. We're working out when we can reopen that. Obviously, everything's a little different that this year, but we want to get that one going soon, too. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Christian. Get involved. Noggles.